after the federal trial, I decided that I was gonna take my chances and stay here in Charleston. You know, it was a battle, you know, against my fear, you know, of any retaliation and anything that can happen to me. I decided to stay here, you know, to fight for that, to fight for change. So, you know, barbershop, you know, was just like the getaway to 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 stay here, you know, in a in a economic opportunity. I've been cutting hair since uh, I was in Dominican Republic. Barbershops, you know, has been always uh, the places, you know, where community gathers. So I think, you know, that interaction and also, you know, the passion for this art, you know, is is beautiful. Here is one of the few places where you can have all races of all people, you know, uh, in one spot, you know, for one purpose, you know, that is having a nice haircut. As a citizen, you know, I want to just serve as a bridge, you know, serve as a bridge, you know, with the Hispanic community, with the black community, the white community also, and everyone over here that, that is uh, not being heard.